Welcome to the On My Workbench channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to calculate the DIB switch settings for the 16 possible PAC ID data addresses so the Signature Solar EG4LL lithium iron phosphate batteries can communicate with the BMS Tools software. The DIB switches are set using 4-bit binary counting. Binary is a base 2 system where you have a maximum of two numbers, a 0 or a 1. On the switch bank, switch number 4 represents the least significant digit and switch number 1 represents the most significant digit. Using 4-bit binary counting, a total of 16 different addresses can be selected using only 4 switches. Binary is a base 2 system where you have a maximum of 2 possible numbers per bit, a 0 or a 1. In 4-bit, the highest decimal equivalent value that you can write is 15, but you can have 16 values as 0000 is considered a value and can be used as an address in some devices. When looking at the four DIB switches, think of the switch position down as a 0 and up as a 1. Think of each of the four DIB switches shown in the photo as being in their own vertical column where each switch is assigned the following values. Switch number 4 is assigned the value of 1. Switch number 3 is assigned the value of 2. Switch number 2 is assigned the value of 4, and switch number 1 is assigned the value of 8. If switch number 4 was down or 0, switch number 3 was down or 0, switch number 2 was down or 0, and switch number 1 was down or 0, you would then have a 0 in the 1's column, a 0 in the 2's column, a 0 in the 4's column, and a 0 in the 8th column. If you add all the values together, such as 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, it would equal 0. So down, 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 or 0, 0, 0, 0 is a decimal equivalent of 0. If switch number 4 was up or 1, switch number 3 was up or 1, switch number 2 was up or 1, and switch number 1 was up or 1, you would then have a 1 in the 1's column, a 1 in the 2's column, a 1 in the 4's column, and a 1 in the 8th column. So if you add all the values together, such as 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, it would equal 15. So up, 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 or 1, 1, 1, 1 equals address 15. Knowing this, you can calculate any of the addresses for switch settings from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, or the decimal equivalent of 0 to 15 for a total of 16 different addresses. The following animation will show the progression of all 16 address changes. The following animation is of the switch settings for data addresses 0 to 15 or 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1111.
The downside with this addressing scheme is that you can only have up to 16 addresses, 0 through 15, for the EG4 LL batteries. The switch setting of 0001 or address 1 is reserved for the grow watt inverters and can't be used for the batteries. So if you set an EG4 LL battery address to 0000, what you think would be address 0, the BMS tool software recognizes it as address 16. I have no idea as to why, but I suspect it has something to do with some other GrowWatt device that uses address 0. So they have mapped the address 0000 to address 16 in the BMS board software. So this reduces the number of EG4LL batteries that the BMS tools software can recognize and communicate with from 16 to 15. So if I had 15 of the EG4LL batteries, I would set my batteries as such, starting with switch address setting 0010 for pack ID 2, 0011 for pack ID 3, 0100 for pack ID 4, 0101 for pack ID 5, 0110 for pack ID 6, 0111 for pack ID 7, 1000 for pack ID 8, 1001 for pack ID 9, 1010 for pack ID 10, 1011 for pack ID 11, 1100 for pack ID 12, 1101 for pack ID 13, 1110 for pack ID 14, 1111 for pack ID 15, and then the oddball 0000 for pack ID 16. If you have more than 15 EG4LL batteries, one is getting left out unless you use a second USB to 485 adapter and cable connected to the, any battery over 15. What a seriously screwed up communication scheme. One very important thing that you must remember is anytime you change a battery's data address, you must turn off the battery and then turn it back on for the address change to take effect. Please check back with the On My Workbench channel for more videos on cool stuff. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, and click the little bell. And thanks for watching the On My Workbench channel.